And the third movie from day three of my coverage of the London Film Festival, starring one of my, if not my favorite actor on the planet at the moment, old, or I should say young, Barry Keoghan. Man, I love this guy. And he's not even the center part of the movie. He's just so good when he's in it. He's just so damn good, this guy. Saltburn, and if the world still doesn't know him, you're gonna know him in the next year or two because he's the next Joker. Um, but he, he's, he's a force of nature, this guy. Bird is a fascinating film, um, English to the core. Centers around a young girl who lives in, you know, she's a very, she, what's a political way of saying this? Wandering travelers. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't, couldn't think of appropriate term there. She's, she lives amongst uh, wandering travellers, gypsies. I don't know if you're still allowed to say that or not. My apologies if you're not. Um, but yeah, they, they've settled in this in this abandoned house and they're kind of doing their best to live their life there. Um, and the movie deals with her journey as a 12-year-old coping with this very violent, harsh reality that surrounds her, only having one parent around at any given time, the dad being played by Barry Keoghan. Um, and looking at, looking at the birds in the sky, longing for that sense of freedom. And then she actually finds this, this interesting man, this man who finds her in a horse field called, called Bird. I know, a bit on the nose, but work with me on this. And together, they go on this journey to find Bird's family. And the movie asks the ultimate question, is it better to have an incredibly dysfunctional bordering on the abusive family or no family at all? I know it's a little bit like picking between a douche and a turd sandwich, like neither of these things are great, there should be another option. But those are the two options that the movie presents. And it never says that these are the only two options, it just presents the two options that this is the reality that this young girl has. The music plays a huge part in reflecting the girl's mood in this film. It's got a very, very muted colour palette to show the level of despair that this girl's life is filled with. Um, much like Treading Water, which I reviewed a day or two ago, it, it deals with some quite harsh subject matter. Domestic abuse, again, seems to be a huge thing. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that had I not seen Treading Water a few days ago, which I believe is the superior movie if we're comparing apples to apples, I probably would have loved Bird and given it a higher score than I'm gonna give it. But it, it, this is, it's in my top 10 of the year, put it that way. It's definitely a top 10 of the year for me. Um, I'm gonna give Bird, oh, this is actually quite tricky. I'm going to give Bird 8.5 out of 10 as a final score. It's absolutely one that you do need to track down. Stellar performances top to bottom, not just from old Barry, but from the whole cast. Quite hard to watch subject matter. If you're a parent, warning, parental advisory, there are some scenes in it which are quite hard to watch. Um, you know, really upsetting stuff that what happens to the kids. Nothing sexually abusive, thankfully, but just the esprit of how these kids are living is, is quite tragic, really. So, parental advisory for the parents. But a movie that you must watch this year and absolutely a top 10 of the year. Check it out, let me know what you think once you have done in the comments section below. And while we're at it, truthfully, you heard of Barry Keoghan? And if you don't know, get to know, because the guy's a whirlwind. Bye for now.